Hi, I'm Ritesh and you're watching Dancing with Data. In today's case, you can see there are dates on the x-axis, you can see sales on the y-axis and for 5th, 6th, 4th, 5th and 6th of January, we don't have any sales, no sales. So if you try to plot this with Power BI as a line chart, now what will happen? This will go like, like okay, it will go like this. And after that, we know that for 4, 5, 6, after 3rd, it will just go down like this. And after that, as per your data set, it will go. That's fine. But now the problem is for the end user, for your client, this is not very user friendly because it, it looks like they first thing is that we need to have four, five and six. Then only we can show that gap, which is necessary. And after that, we need to get rid of this line as well. So how you are going to do that with, I have two options for you. Let me know which option you would like or you would implement in your project. So let's move over to the Power BI text. So first of all, let us try to pick the dates. Okay, so let's try to recreate. So we have sales measure. Then we have order date. We are taking date from the calendar itself. Here you go. So you have one first, second, third, then there is no gap over there. So we don't have fourth, fifth and sixth. So in order to get those dates where you have no sales, just go to dates and you say show items with no data. Here you go. We need to turn this to a line chart. Still we have that problem. Then last step would be, you have to go to uh, format your visual, go to X axis and turn this continuous to categorical. So when you will turn this to categorical, you'll get the desired result. Now this is something that you are looking for. And if I just go and if I uh, say show as table, so you can see we, now we have included those dates as well, where you don't have any sales. Now, as I said, as I promised that I will show you one more way. And please let me know that uh, you like that way or not. Another way to do this would be in this one. So what I've done over here is I have kept those continuous lines, but I've ensured that for the end user or the client, they get the feeling that, okay, you don't have any sales for the other dates, right? How? I have created a line and stack column chart and I have used the same measure, sales measure as column Y axis, which is nothing these bar and line S again, sales measure. So you have line and you have bar and uh, ensure that you have very, very light color for the bars or like a light gray color so that your main focus uh, is on the line itself. So it can be an another option. Uh, another thing that I like about this option is uh, uh, it's de decluttered. You don't have many values over there, right? So what I mean to say is that here you have, you know, all these, which is okay, but then, you know, uh, sometimes it's good to avoid, but it depends on, you know, case to case basis. You want, you want to have all those dates over there, or you want to have uh, something like this, right? For this one, remember one thing that uh, if you go to X access, this is continuous. This is dates. You can move over to categorical as well. But then in this case, these lines will be broken. So, th so the whole purpose of having, you know, continuous lines and having both the things at the same time will be killed. So go with this one, if it makes sense. Uh, otherwise, go with the previous one, which was the original destination or target for us. So this is Ritesh signing off from Dancing with Data. Because data is data. Hai.